Jibs out early and got their boats powered up quick, like you guys did, Jeff, on the last start. I mean, you have to get the right. You were going with what 50 seconds before the start, you were almost full speed. Yeah. Oh, then we did a big up to get separation, right? We were late to get going again. Yeah. We never really stopped moving. Right. And I think the rule of thumb is never go slower than two knots so you don't lose a pass because then you just start going sideways, right? Couple inches. The flip side of that is, is when the wind picks up. And when the wind picks up, you have to do something quick to get that out because it's like a flaps down on an airplane, it'll slow you down. So we're playing with the idea when we get a puff, just taking that upper shot and just pulling it back. And then going to the bag and then easing the main sheet. But I think getting the head stay straighter first is our objective. Then pulling the bang so we can ease the main sheet. You can't ease the main sheet unless the bang's on because the boat doesn't have to travel. If you just see some aging, the bait will actually get fuller, twistier, and the boat will sail more through. So that's our goal, that's what we're working on. But if I, if I had to err on anything, I would err softer than harder um, on the rig. Especially today, uh, especially today. Does yeah. the rest of the panel up there agree with the head state sack philosophy that you're talking about? For sure, yeah. As long as you're attached to the Yeah, no, kilos. Yeah, it's, 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 it's kilos. But that's kilos. So it's it's kilo, that's kilos. pounds. So it's kilos. Yeah. So, so both, so both of them had their uppers set up. Well, actually, you had your uppers for intermediates at 470. We are much tighter. Much tighter than what Wally and Eric got. I felt relative to, to your boat that when it got light, we 
felt pretty good against you, but I felt when you had some pressure, you guys could hold your money down. That was my impression. I thought your bow your would stay up a little bit easier once we had the pressure, but when it all went milky, maybe we had some. That was it. Okay. Sam, how about you? Talk loudly if you can. I know you can talk loud. It's usually not a problem. Uh, we were basically just set up off the north tuning guide uh, and the rake and the settings on our uppers and lowers. And we were 10 full turns off in the first race today. And on the uppers. Uh, sorry, on, on the, on the uh, diamonds. On the diamonds. Yeah, and just listening to people talk yesterday, that's what a lot of people were doing. And it seemed to be okay. And then we, for the next race, when the pressure was up a little bit more, we put basically have it just uh, went five full turns off from our base setting and seemed to have a lot more bite in the boat and just a lot more, just kind of, boat had a lot more jump to it. That was on the uppers or on the on diamonds? On the diamonds. Only? diamonds. We didn't touch, the cars were all the way far forward as we can get on the boat. On, with, with base tension on the uppers, you didn't do that at all? Yeah, <laughs> wow. everything was as far forward as we could get and uh, I don't know, the really big difference in the second race on our boat seemed to be the main sheet trim. You know, even when you're just off a couple inches, you know, you do that final trim and the boat would really jump up and go, which is pretty critical. I mean, uh, you can, it seems as soon as you get that third body close to getting on the rail, you can really stroke in that main sheet really hard. And it seems pretty difficult to over trim these mains. So that's what we were really kind of focusing on uh, in the last race. But yeah, we were about as, as base as you could get uh, up there today. Yeah. So it seems like a lot of diamond stay adjustment. On um, your two boats, Wally, well, you didn't do too much of that though. On your, but you got a time. I got so And today you really want to be ramped up, and starting to ramp up in 30 seconds if you possibly could. It's hard to time that just right. Right. Well, and then you have to have a clear lane to do it. And get out. But I think the moral of the story is not getting yourself head to wind or even close, but uh, making sure the boat is always moving forward, like Harry's saying never getting slow in the boat, so you always have a little bite in the boat to be able to carve around, up or down, or what have you. It seems to be the key. I mean, when you go up, I think you got to keep the main in and let the jib up, so you have some bite. Yeah.